Chris and I in the Washington area. I went to stay there again. We had stayed there at Boutique Hotel one time before Medea, and you can go back and look at that on our video, and then I'll link it down below. But this time we chose the Tabard Inn. Now Tabard Inn was also a unique boutique hotel. But why did we choose a boutique hotel? I'll let Chris tell you. But we also wanted something unique. The Tabard Inn. Let's go inside and take a look. Let's take a look around the lobby. Chris, what's your impression? Well, my first impressions, it reminded me of my um, grandmother's house because she came into a uh, living room setting and the furniture was old furniture on the vintage side. So that's my first impression. Now here's a peek around the lobby. And the lobby had a lot of old furniture, old rug. Chris, your thoughts on the lobby? Well, when he says old furniture and old rug, more like vintage furniture and vintage rug. The lobby, as I said before, it was warm and cozy, but when you walked out the lobby to the foyer, there was a large foyer and there was a lot of steps. And let me mention this, there is no elevator. But they do have somebody, if you need help, they'll help you your luggage. Now what you're looking at here is one of the rooms that could be used for another venue, perhaps a reception, even a wedding and a reception. Nice large room in green. Obviously they weren't used because of COVID. It's just a video spin around the room. So before we show you our room, we wanted to show you something else in the hotel first, or some of the other rooms. Now here I'm standing outside under the tower. And what's nice about where the location is, that it's in a community or neighborhood. Uh, on both sides of it and across the street, you have your apartments and you have your row house as well. Now for parking, they do have a parking garage that you can pay for and park in. But the lady told us, oh, just go ahead and park in front. I like the neighborhood too. It's very walkable. This is an embassy. This was the Mauritius embassy. So there's some embassies in the area, there's restaurants, and we'll show you the restaurant we went to. Now we decided to eat out at one of the restaurants in the neighborhood, but it, we started walking a couple of blocks, so a couple of blocks turned out to be more than just a couple of blocks. So we happened to, happened to say we came across this restaurant. And this restaurant is a Thai street food, creative street food. We liked it. Uh, very nice. You can see some of the food. We ordered a shrimp dish. We ordered tea. And of course, rice always comes with the Thai dishes. But it was very good. That's what I like about the area. You find restaurants within walking distance. Wasn't that far. The original restaurant was going to be about eight blocks. And it was a little height. So we decided to eat somewhere close. So check out the restaurant if you're ever in. DuPont Circle area and you like Thai food. Now the room. Now the room is interesting. It's a large room. has a king size bed. It was high though so if you're short you might have difficulty getting it. The lamps. I like the lamps. The lamps were nice. Uh, here's a just a video going around the room looking at the bed, the lamps. I always appreciate that people put artwork on the walls. I soft in the room, I think it feels more homey. Close up of the lamp. And I'll show you some of the other furniture and artwork in the room as well. This is some of the artwork. Has a fireplace. This is the dresser looking over. More artwork, more lamps. There was abundance of lamps in the room. Enough. Uh, we didn't really use any of the furniture other than to set something on. And so here's another lamp. And about ready to head into the bathroom, but let me let Chris Perth on. As you came to the door of the room, walk straight into the bedroom. Matter of fact, you take three or four steps, you're right there at the side of the bed. The room had a nice, cozy, warm feeling about it. The furniture, as I said before, is definitely vintage. There was that tea or sofa that was in the room. I could use a bit more padding because it wasn't the most comfortable sofa. But as far as the furnishings and so forth, they were not. Now on to the bathroom. The bathroom has a tub and a shower. The shower is part of the tub. 
Now, the, this was a clawfoot tub, and it was a nice touch, but this particular clawfoot tub was very deep. So if you're short like I am, you're gonna have to put in some fight to get into the tub. Now ladies, the shower head should come with a warning. First of all, the shower head is really high and you cannot adjust it, nor does the head itself have any tilt. And the shower controls for the cold and the hot water is directly under the shower head. So if you get in the shower and you turn on the water, there's no way for you to avoid getting your head wet. So you can either try to um, turn it on prior to you get in, but then remember it's the shower lining that wraps all the way around. So it's difficult for you to get into the tub because the tub is definitely very deep. So you're really gonna have to have someone to um, adjust the water for you while you're standing in the shower. As far away from the shower head as possible because I said before the shower head not be adjusted. On to the rest of the bathroom. Well, first you're looking at the sink, and there's also a mirror above the sink. On the other side of the room, there is a shelf where you can put your toiletry. You have the commode, and I like the blue paint. I really like the blue color to use to paint the room in the bathroom. The towel hooks were nice. These are actually not towel hooks. They're actually wooden hat hooks but they used them to hold the towel. So that was sort of unique touch they did to the room. And now I'm gonna come back to some misses. Now what I call misses are really simple opportunities to make things look better. One is the blind. Notice that blind is broken. They were some plastic blinds. I think a much better blind would have been the wider plantation blinds. Two, the shower curtain. What did you tell us about the shower curtain, Chris? Well, one thing about the shower curtain, once the water was turned on and you were in the shower, the shower curtains would pull in on you and would actually stick to you. So you had a little fight with the shower curtain there. And three is the closet. On the right hand side, when you first come into the bathroom, there's a closet, but there's no garment bar to really hang up your clothes. It's just one hook. To hang anything up on and it won't hold much that's for sure. Four is some items that just require maintenance maybe a handyman for the weekend. One if you see the sink handle was broken. Two the mirror even though they tried to do this effect on the mirror and Christine explained what it was to make it look vintage to me it just made it look old. Then you saw the shower head where the little cover there is coming off the wall. The shower head itself had a problem. It was an imitation or looking copper, but that had worn and was starting to rust. So the shower head needed to be replaced. Now on to the furniture. A point furniture, I think there really is a difference between looking vintage and looking old. You can be in good condition and still look vintage. The furniture needed to be restained in some cases and just the next cover. That would make it look much better. Now, you heard what we thought about the room, both good and bad. Well, I would say the room did its job. We enjoyed staying there. It was a nice little adventure. But would we come back because of, well, so many hotels in the DuPont area, we probably will make it back. One to some of the other hotels, I would like to see what the staff has done to, to Bard in in the future. Okay, enough about the room. It's time for some breakfast. And so we're in the breakfast area. This is a little dining area they had, their dining room. We chose to eat in. Uh, there was no one else in the dining room, so we did decide to eat. Here's a video, a little clip of the dining room as we circle around and see the dining room. But now, come to the food. For my breakfast, I went with the grits and shrimp. Grits and shrimp, that's a southern breakfast. And really the key to having good grits and shrimp is the sauce on the shrimp has to be good. It was okay, but it wasn't great. So I would say the breakfast for me was just... Okay, I had breakfast. I had eggs, 
bacon, home fries, and a biscuit. They didn't have toast, so they did make me mini pancakes, as you see there, with nice whipped butter. The um, bacon was nice and smoky, just liked it, so it was pretty good. Before we left, we wanted to see the dining area side. There's just a bit of work to have outside you could look at. It. it was cute. I would really say the outside area was cute. There was their bar. Sadly, you know, it was COVID, so the bar was closed. And that's looking out toward the dining area outside. Uh, and then this is back in, so I'm back up to the lobby. And then uh, Christine posing in one of the hallways there. And looking down the hallway uh, of the hotel, and there's Christine again posing on one of the staircases. It was very unique in that there were many, many staircases and see that, that you could walk around. I think if you were a young person, this hotel, you would be delighted to stay here, around, see all the different places. You could really get lost because their cases didn't all come back to the front. Now you see, this is out front. There's a menu because there's actually cafe chairs out front. So if you wanted to eat your, you wanted to eat a snack, or whatever meal you wanted to doubt and you wanted to be out front or outside, especially when the weather's nice, you can also. So there you have it. That's Chris and I. We made our stay at the Tabard Inn. It's a boutique hotel in the Circle area of Washington, D.C. I might add, it's closely biking and, and jogging distance to the White House or to Washington Monument and the other attractions in that area. So come back, come back and check out the Tabard Inn. If you like the video, give it a thumb. Look at some of our other travel videos. We do hotels and we also do cruises and some other travel that we have enjoyed and done. So if you like the video, please like and subscribe to the channel, Lakot TV. Thank you and look to see you again in the future.